say that, people <coughs> kind of go, um, but you don't have an accent. <laughs> And I go, oh shit, I dropped it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't do that, but I usually say, um, well, I am a quarter finished, so that might be why. <laughs> usually no one laughs, so that's nice. <laughs> just me. Um, but this one time, a guy asked me, where are you from? And I said, Sweden. And he said, did you mean Swindon? <laughs> confident like that. <laughs> um, so I think now is the perfect time for me to tell you guys about my imaginary vehicle. Um, it's got these two wheels right and then this board in between with a pole that comes up with a handle on it. And uh, what I mainly like to use this for is to go from one bit in my set to the next one. And I'll call it a segue. <laughs> um, so growing up I never really reflected on my own sexuality. I kind of just assumed that I was straight. Um, and then if I ever had any thoughts that didn't comply with that, I would kind of straightify them. Um, so it'd be kind of something like, oh I really want to kiss that girl in a friend way. <laughs> with lots of tongue. <laughs> But then when I got older, I kind of realised that um, I'm actually bisexual. And that made sense not only because I was attracted to both men and women, but also because any time anyone had ever made any sexual advances towards me, I'd just go, bye! <laughs> <laughs> and then when I started thinking about it even more, I uh, realised that I'm actually pansexual. And um, that also made a lot of sense because as a nine-year-old, I had a huge crush on Jeremy Sumter. <laughs> um, this joke does rely rather heavily <laughs> on the audience knowing that Jeremy Sumter played the title role in 2003 live action remake of Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine, you guys don't like culture, that's. 